What's up, guys? This is your boy KO with KO Sports on Kofi. What the hell happened yesterday with the Bulls, man? I don't know what happened, but we lost to a 1 and 16 team, man. I get it, we lost to the Pacers. I get we lost because we didn't match up well, but the fact that we lost to the freaking Rockets, and not only that, they lost Jalen Green. I don't understand. Zach Levine was playing too much hero ball. DeMar DeRozan was missing shots. Lonzo Ball, I mean, he had a solid game in the first half, but second half, he completely disappeared. And Vucevic, I know he came back, but bro, you need to play better, man. He lost to a 1 in 16 teams. Illuminati confirmed. We shouldn't have lost to them like that. Freaking despicable. Freaking despicable, man. Next time, when we face the Orlando Magic, we better come out on all, firing on all cylinders. Because Milwaukee, they're starting to gain ground on us. Yeah, we might be third, but we need to play better. We can't never, ever play down to our competition. Never. I don't care if they're 0 and 16, 0 and 17. Hell, 7 and 59, like the Charlotte Bobcats was in 24. They're still a professional team, and you got to take them seriously. This is by far one of the worst losses the Bulls have had this season. And this is a reality check. This better be a reality check for Chicago Bulls because this shows you that they cannot take any team lightly. Now, let me go on. Let me go on to the Chicago Bears, part two. So George McCaskey, right, said a report that he wasn't reportedly firing Matt Nagy. Why the hell are you waiting? Why are you waiting, George McCaskey? This has gone on for far too long. Three years of misery. Three years, hell, even four years that our offense was bottom, bottom 20. You go all the way back to 2018 season. Very one twelve and four. Why, why, why are you putting yourself through this, through, through this debacle? Are you so oblivious to the fact that everybody around the league is looking at you as a laughing stock? When I tell people that I'm a Bears fan, they make fun of me. They forget the fact that the Bears have the most Hall of Famers in NFL history. They forget they forget the fact that more than half of our Hall of Famers came before the Super Bowl era. They totally just forget about those nine other championships we won prior to the Super Bowl. They think only, oh, you guys only won one Super Bowl. You guys never won anything. Y'all are trash. And rightfully so. You guys haven't done anything for the past 36 years ever since we won that 85 Super Bowl. I wasn't even born there. Yeah, I've seen you guys go to one Super Bowl. But... I see you guys go to one Super Bowl, but you have freaking Rex Grossman, who's a horrible, horrible quarterback. You passed up on Aaron Rodgers in 2005 draft to draft Cedric Batson. You passed up on LaDainley and Tomlinson in the 2001 draft. You passed up on some great players. By, and, and the fact that you kept Ted Phillips all those years shows how incompetent you are. Why on earth, Virginia McCaskey, would you keep? Why on earth would you keep Ted Phillips? And you knew this guy was a, not a football mind, but you kept it because you only cared about the money. And that shows you how incompetent you guys are. That shows how incompetent you guys are. And then George McCaskey, you go on saying, oh, I'm not going to fire him. Totally denying reports. Totally denying reports. Like I said, you're spitting on your grandfather's legacy. You're spitting on it. Disgracing on it. 
forgetting that this is a charter franchise. And if you don't wake up, there are going to be a lot of fans that are going to turn on you and never, ever going to go to another Bears game. This is your boy Kofi, and I'm out, man.